second, I'm going to hijack this for charity purposes. Oh, whoa, who said, uh-oh? Get out. Okay, I'm sorry, can I do this? How, how many minutes do I have? Three and a half. Three and a half, I'm going to do this in less than three and a half minutes. Someone can watch. Someone time this, okay? Okay. You watch to time it's being very gracious. No, I won't do that. <laughs> okay. Many of you know I'm pretty committed to Oxfam, marvelous organization devoted to fighting poverty around the world. And right now, one of the major battles is they're incredibly devoted to uh, raising awareness and combating the crisis in Yemen. Those of you who don't know about that, there's a terrible civil war uh, raging there for almost shit. Uh, 2015, March, yeah, March 21st, four and a half years, almost four and a half years. Anyway, so I'm not going to talk about that here because I don't want to waste everyone's time. But what I, want, what I do want to talk about is. As a result of this conflict, there, there's uh, you know, tens of millions of people who have been disenfranchised and, uh, and are on the brink of starvation. So I just want to bring everybody's awareness to that because... I'm talking about Donald Trump in here, I'll jump past that. I'll consume at least a couple of minutes. So, so, so look, there's an exciting development that's happening, because right now there's a genuine political momentum in the US Congress right now, wherein a tremendously important bill is happening that would move the warring Yemeni political parties towards a ceasefire to, and bring an end to the conflict. So your voices can be really, really useful, and I'm going to get you to help me support right now. It's basically, I, I want you to all help me with a, uh, uh, an online petition. Get your fucking phone out. Get your phone out. <laughs> Please. Uh, can you text the number 97779? Just help me here. How, how, how much time do I have left? Yeah, two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Uh, I, I know I'm being selfish here, hijacking this whole the, the proceeding. 9779, here's what you're going to text. Daniel for Oxfam. You, so 9779 is the number you know, and write Daniel, the number 4, Oxfam. Sign the petition, it takes 20 seconds, seriously 20 seconds and you're done. And you can also, yeah, I'm going to bribe you. Fuck you. I'm going to bribe you. Because uh, someone today, because if you can sign this thing today, I'm going to do a private meet and greet with somebody here uh, at the end of the day. You, you need to message you. Anybody need the number again? You get it? Beautiful, beautiful. I love you, I love you, I love you. I just want to squeeze that in. Anyway, I'll quit talking. Thank you so much. You're all awesome. Say the word again. Just ask your name. She knows. Nine triple seven nine. Yeah, four. Thank you. Daniel Four Ox fan. I'll throw it up on the, on her. Thank you for listening to me. One word? Yes, one word. Well, I really, I really destroyed the mood, didn't I? Yeah, no, no, that was great. Private meet and greet with this man. Thank you, you're better than me. We're not calling it a date. It's not a date. Or it could, it could, or it could be. It could be. I love you, thank you for listening to me. Sorry. But I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Just ask everybody around you who also heard. I love you. Or oh, you can get a card. You can get one of those postcards. Let's get on to uh, talking about vampires and Joseph Morgan's sex dungeon, which he may or may not have built beneath these stages of the originals. Now belongs to Matt Davis. And now belongs to Matt Davis. I passed the torch, so to speak. Um, first question. Yes. I don't think that microphone is working. Sorry. Okay, so I love you guys. Um, my question is, what was your favorite scene ever filming? I like the episode that um, Joseph directed, actually. I liked all of my scenes in there. It was fun. Sort of wisdom passed on from a more experienced... Uh, Sort of a mentor figure. Here it goes. <laughs> Educating and yet gifting a, uh, a less experienced yet older <laughs> actor. So there you go. Any of those scenes probably were his favourite. Um, I'm glad he answered for me. That's very, very, just very good. Next question. Hi Joseph, hi Daniel, my name is Cassandra, and my question is, if you woke up tomorrow and no one knew your name or recognized your face, 
Your fame status is just gone. Would you pursue acting again, or do something else with your freedom? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a bit old to get into it now from scratch. Yeah, time. probably. Well, you. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't know actually. Maybe not. No, no, hold on. In this universe, have we done no acting? So everything we've yeah, done has like, been for nothing. Every, Wake up. Every work you've ever done. Oh, is shit. Not. No, no I wouldn't touch it. No, I wouldn't. No, no way. No, I'd do something else. What would you do? Hmm. More of these? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I know who I am. Couldn't make any. No. Um, oh, writing. I do writing. I've heard that's an easy living. <laughs> Steady career, solid career choice. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a poet, because I've heard there's lots of money in poetry. Um, yeah, thank you for that nightmare. Thank you. Next question. Hi. Hi. Um, first of all, I'm only here because of Daniel's Instagram post that I saw a while ago, so thank you for that. No, thank you. Which one is it? Um, where you threatened everyone to come to the convention. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> um, my question is for both of you. Which is your favorite sibling out of all of the Michaelsons? Oh. Oh. Should we say it at the same time? Yeah, yeah oh, you did it. <laughs> that's alright, that's alright. Henry. Lost him sure. to the wolves. A Henry. And it wasn't anyone's fault. No? Not oh. blaming, not pointing fingers at any Michaelsons. A lot of scenes ended up on the cutting room floor. Like literally, because he got cut up in the end of the end. But, but, but he, Disrespect. But yeah, too soon. too soon. He was very, very funny. Um, very soon. The, yeah. the funniest of all the Michael yeah, scenes. Yeah, he was. Enrique. He was, um... There's so many scenes we had to cut of me screaming, Enrique! <laughs> Gone. Gone. Oh. I still think about it. I'm thinking, I can't get him out of my mind right now. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Hi, I Hi. like both of you guys. And my question is, what are your guys' most craziest slash weirdest fan experience ever? God, I wish I got asked this question more. In the gold panel, so yeah, 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 yeah. it yeah. Two car chases, one elevator <laughs> grapple, and a partridge in a pantry. <laughs> Can't talk about it. Next question. Thank you. <laughs> My question is, if you could play any superhero from Marvel or DC, who would it be and why? Good question. And the answer is, villains included or not? Yes. Villains included. Mm -hmm. Any, probably, uh... Ken, probably Gandalf. He's not. Is he not? Yeah, I'm so sorry. So, 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 I'd be Jon Snow, I reckon, if I thought about it. Isn't it? Yeah, that's something like this. I thought everything, I thought they kind of owned everything. It's not that. Like Asterix. would be Asterix, of course. Joseph as the Joker, perhaps? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'd like to do that. Um, it's stiff competition right now. Right, right now is probably not the best time. Not, not the best time. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Joe, Joe would make a good Joker, though, I reckon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is that why you always call me Joker? Daniel is yeah. Batman. Joker. Daniel is Batman. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Daniel is Batman and Joseph is Joker. That's not a bad combo. Yeah. We're both probably a little old for an hour. Oh, no, wait. Joaquin Phoenix is older than both of us. There you go. Don't. <laughs> so, don't count you. Don't count you. Joker's the one of hatch. My favorite Batman. <laughs> He's like the Timothy Dalton of the Batman franchise now. Hi. Hi, um, I love you guys so much. You were like my favorite characters on the show. Um, what, how what, do you... Which one do you like, like better? Sorry. <laughs> just, just keep it over there, so that, that no one can hear. Probably, um, Klaus. <laughs> If it, all right. Um, how do you guys feel about the 
reveal about Kaisa Malaysia's um, death at the end of the series? Ah, uh, that you won't yeah. see it. Well, obviously I was a little more wounded than you were. <laughs> you couldn't give a shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, it wasn't Klaus, thank Oh no, it is, at the same time. <laughs> I'd love to have been your emotional center at that moment of time, because you, you were like, oh, mm. like, you've never felt so lukewarm about a death at the same time as heartbroken. I do love you. You don't love anything. You have a, you have a cold, dead heart. You have a piece of pumice, bro. You used to be something beautiful, man. You see, he's so, he's so angry about the death, he's taking it out on you. It's true. It still hurts. Still hurts. You, I love you. Thank you, seven people. <laughs> seventeen. It's growing. It's got that down to seventeen ball. Yeah, your family doesn't count me. <laughs> Back down to four. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So, my question is, what, if you guys got nominated for Best Actor at the Oscars, what would you say to your competition? <laughs> um, I'd like to... Uh, it's just an honor. All, you know, it's just an honor to be nominated by <laughs> such great talents as <laughs> Stephen Amell, Robbie Amell, Ian <laughs> <laughs> Summer Holder and Paul Wesley. But, uh, you know, thank you for making the right choice, Karen. Okay. Next nice question. I missed a trick with the Oscar campaign, not doing the Oscar campaign. Yeah. Let's see how we do those in TV show. Wait your turn. Sorry. I know I'm ready. Well, this moment right here, this is like, yeah, this has been nothing but humiliation since I walked out. Probably a minute ago when you asked, you know, which one do you like best? Like, oh, yeah, so, yeah. It was that. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm reliving it. I was trying to leave that in the rear view mirror. You're bringing it back. Yeah. Love you, Daniel. Thank you so much. Love you, Daniel. Oh, awesome. Oh, why does it sound so sparse? <laughs> yeah, that is. Why can't I have a chorus? I need a chorus of I Love You, Daniels, before this is going to be... Oh. I love you too. I love you too. I'll stop it. Stop it. Next question. Hi. My grandma loves... Before I get to my question, my grandma loves you guys, and she wants... She, she has the big camera back there. She your your you. mom does? Love my grandma. Your grandma. Yeah, and, and you said she's got a big camera in the back yeah. there. She wants to know if you can say hello love to her. Yeah. Is that an advanced line? No, it's Elijah. It is? <laughs> Wait, why don't you say an Elijah thing and I'll say a Klaus thing? But we can just do it. Does Elijah have a catchphrase? Not really. <laughs> Wait, uh, what did what did the line have a catchphrase? I think you guys are Nick Klaus and they like and you girls seem to like the way he said Katarina. Right? Yeah. Now we won't do that. But we'll both, so should we both see if we can say it exactly the same time? Hello, love. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 Hello, love. That was perfect. That was amazing. Wow. All right, magic nice. here today. Yes, next question. I specifically said nobody cries. Uh, you. Well, that's my new most embarrassing moment. Uh, you could, oh. If you could relive any day, what day would you relive? Well, definitely not today. <laughs> but, um... And, and it's nothing to do with you, it's sort of me repeatedly just destroying my sense of self worth. Um, uh, either a 
the days of birth of my kids. Aww. That's not really narrow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Me too. And it was it was weird that I was there in retrospect. He was yeah, it was appropriate. Not appropriate. But by God it was gorgeous. What and and he's he's an excellent midwife. What's weird is oh, no shit, there were times I couldn't make the Lamar's classes. Do you know what? With Rachel. Wait, that, YouTube. Yeah, it's good. Amazing. amazing. Tutorials. Are Beautiful. Right. Yeah. He can do, he can do so much and can more than you. Just gotta roll up your sleeves and yeah, get in there with the forceps and the, you did a lot of work. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's beautiful memories. Yes. Hi. Hey, could you do an impression of each other no, like take time? Definitely not. Next question. <laughs> Hello. My question is, if you guys could freeze time and everybody around you, what would you guys do? Rob Banks, what else? Yeah, Rob Banks. Yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously Rob Well, Banks. I mean, I'm newly sick. No, I'm going to ask you to freeze! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rob the Banks. Oh, oh, what am I robbing? What, what am I doing? You're the frozen people. Oh, okay, you just like, understand what you're doing. You play the part of Frozen Money oh, too. Okay, cool. Not even this not feels a lot like the scenes we used to do in the originals, by the way. <laughs> Already, so don't like, do anything, I'm acting. Okay, so wait, are we doing this again? Frozen mannequin. And I'm creeping past. <laughs> Messing with him a bit. No, 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 no. It's frozen, he doesn't know. Taking the money. <laughs> Back here. Unfreeze. Oh, thank God the money's in a good, safe, secure place, though. <laughs> um, don't, know, don't know what I'm suddenly thinking about. You can say that again. <laughs> See, yeah, I'm nearly single, so I definitely play with pretty ladies in my prison. I mean, that's, 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 that sounds terrible. No, it's terrible. That's a terrible thing. Delete that from the phone. Yeah, don't, don't. Please don't. No, well, I wouldn't just like their hair. I wouldn't do it doing weird, really weird stuff. Next question. Hi, <laughs> uh, so my question is, uh, what was your Battle to film as Klaus and Elijah? Favorite battle? Yeah. Um, you know the one I, I remember the most? Is that one where we were on the ground for the courtyard and you threw me onto a table. When, when were you exit? The one where you accidentally punched me in the face. <laughs> accidentally <laughs> punched me in the face. Over and over and over again. <laughs> Take after take. Even when the stuntman said that he would like to take over, do you want me to do this so I can miss Daniel's face? He said, no, no, I got this. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This time. Yeah, this time. <laughs> Long after the scene was done, he kept sponging in the face. <laughs> Says, I just want to keep a character for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> that was a miserable day. <laughs> you can stop doing I can stop the next. <laughs> Moment together offset? Oh, probably when we were slapping each other in the face. No, that was me. Why didn't they use that for the outtakes? You know what? Promotes violence. That's a learning here. The learning as well as enjoying. So, was I frozen at the time or in the scene? each other in the face. I remember we just, I don't know, just being stupid. Yeah. I remember we slapping, but it was just got out of hand. It just got out of hand. Got out of hand. Out of hand. Oh, oh, nice. I like that. There you go. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thank yeah. You. Who's next? Yes. Hi. I love you both so much. Um, Daniel, which is your favorite bromance? You and Joseph or you and Paul? Oh. Keep talking.
Klaus's favorite or yes. my favorite? Klaus's Klaus. favorite. Rebecca. Because <laughs> he had a thousand years of history with her and about nine with Freya. So. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> Good. Hey, man. Klaus, uh, 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 sorry. Joseph, I have a question. <laughs> so, I know you've been very powerful the whole nine yards, but when Marcel became invincible, did you feel uh, a little discouraged? Um, no. <laughs> Not even Lou? Um, no. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, you guys are both amazing. I love you guys. This question is for Joseph. In the show, Klaus has a certain way of yelling out to Rebecca in a specific tone. Do you think you can reenact that for us? No, I can't. No, no, I can't. She's asking me to shout Rebecca. Um, but well, we do have a video of me shouting yep. Tony's Rebecca. Yep. And you I just saw that video right now. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Hi. Uh, um, this question is for all of you. Hi. So, he, I loved you in Hex. I don't know if anybody ever seen it, but if you get a chance to. Don't see it, don't see it. It's good. I, Let's just erase that from history. Um, I already asked some of this, and she said she's down for it. If they ever remake Interview with a Vampire, would you, Joseph, be down for the stat? Yeah. Would be down for you? But you understand that Brad Pitt played Louie in the first one. <laughs> no, I just, I think, I think she got confused because she's saying, you know, would I be down to play this? If they remake it, if they remake it. If they remake it, and then she, she sort of said that you would play the Brad Pitt character, but I don't think she knew that. <laughs> I think she realized that, um... Seven long years of this shit. That Brad Pitt... Because <laughs> like, if you're looking for a Brad Pitt type, probably... Just like that. You're my Brad Pitt. I could do it over and over again. He's my Brad Pitt. There you go. I want that as a t-shirt. Next time. Summer Summer Fontana as Claudia. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You're pretty amazing. There you go. Yeah. With it all, Brad Pitt. <laughs> hey, I love you saying he's my Brad Pitt. You, yeah, you're going to be my... Wait, who's he with now? <laughs> God, I can't... Jennifer Aniston? Again, I, I don't know, I can't keep up. He's, uh... Anyway, you're my Thelma if I'm Louise. I'm gonna stop. Thank you. Hi, I hope both of you are doing well. I have one question for each of you. So, Daniel, who is your favorite villain throughout the two shows you've been in? Lucian, Catherine, Michael, or Esther? It's for Daniel. Lucian, Catherine, or Michael, Esther. or Esther. Who was your favorite villain? Did, 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 didn't I make out with Catherine? <laughs> well, then definitely not her. <laughs> Esther, I think. Played by Sonia Saul. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's good. No, I'm probably Catherine. It's still Catherine. <laughs> Catherine. She's a good kisser. She wasn't even on the original. Well, she just asked me if she should put Catherine in the category. Just think about it before you answer. That's all I'm asking. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Seven. What's, what's it, what percentage of my just life? Just let it go. Let's let it go. What's the question for me? Um, <laughs> Klaus is arguably has one of the best character developments in TV history. No, why was my so question not <laughs> going It's like watching a unicorn meme. It's because I couldn't be your Thelma, so I got heartbroken because I'm not your Thelma, Daniel. <laughs> I got mad. It's gonna come up. A 
have to choose that, no? Sorry about that. Go on. Oh, sorry. Okay, so um, he has one of the best character developments in TV yeah. history. So, what arc <laughs> or version of him was your favorite to play? What was the first bit again of the question? Just <laughs> skip the second to the last third of it. It's not even a question. It's a comment. It's a great question. Um, they were, I, uh, all of it. They, all of the parts of him made up the whole of him. I like playing. I know someone filmed that. I don't need that evidence. Send it to me. For some hashtag campaign. Uh, yeah. Sorry, a little sidetracked there. What was the first part of the question again? Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. Um, so Never in a million years did I think I would have uh, sat down and watched a vampire show with my wife, but you're absolutely flawed. True Blood was amazing for you, wasn't it? <laughs> you had a really good time. You're absolutely you had a good time. flawless acting. Followed up by Evenings of Twilight. <laughs> and a little bit of what we do in the shadows. Team Edward, Team Edward. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... You guys were great. I was so starstruck, I didn't even shake your hand, Joseph, when I went for the, the photo, but... My question was, uh, in that five years you were down in that dungeon held there by Marcellus, why didn't you just revert to being the, the thousand-year-old Klaus Michelson seeking vengeance and being a terrifying all-around person? Because of hope. I think. Because he, he had his daughter, you know, and that was the fundamental thing that changed in him, you know. Being there for the birth of Daniel's children. Yeah. <laughs> informed me what it was like to have a fake child. <laughs> For me, I mean, you know, and then having a fake summer of my own um, to think about. I had to uh, put her first. So that was, that was why. Thank, Thank you. Sam Fontana is launching a talk show. It's called Summertime. It's summertime. It's great. I came up with that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Next question. Why there is one Sam on it? Yeah, it's not a dodo world. They didn't love it. Right, I tested it. I'm really sorry. This next question's for Joseph. <laughs> Don't apologize. As long as it paints him as the disastrous human he is. <laughs> So you had one of the most disastrous arcs in, in, in modern television history. I'm just framing it for you, now you can say the question. Joseph, is there anything you can tell us about the character you'll be playing on A Brave New World, or if there's anything special you have to do to prepare for it? Sit back and bloody learn. Uh, no, there's not a lot I can tell you. I can tell you this, uh, that it's a group piece, so sometimes it's a smaller part of the episodes, but there's also a lot of me in it. Um, and, uh, yeah, and um, I'm doing a lot of visual effects stuff. It's like a futuristic sci-fi kind of show, so quite different. And uh, very, very different kind of character in, in terms of how withdrawn he is, at least in the beginning, although he becomes, uh, he, he changes throughout the course of the season. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to see it because I've been doing a lot of stuff with green screen and stuff where you don't get to quite, to see what, what it, the finished product's gonna be like. So it'll be, uh, it'll be a journey for me too. It'll be interesting to, to see it. Uh, but it's not out till next year, I don't know when exactly. Thank you for asking about that. Yeah. Hi. Um, <laughs> Joseph, who do you like better? Yeah. 
you want to be dead? She just Wait, what, what episode do I appear in the Legacies? Oh, no, it's not until they're waiting for the call. I, I have no idea. That's sad. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Good to know that. Wow. Hi. Hi. Excuse me, sir, come in. Okay. Um, I actually started uh, noticing on your social media that you're a very avid reader, so I wanted to ask um, a recommendation on a book series, because I also believe in reading books, but more series. Um, I only read one book, and that's the Bible. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, I, my favorite book is... Uh, Actually, I just finished reading a book last night when I couldn't sleep because I watched a horror film and then I stayed up all night thinking about it because it kind of terrified me. Sinister. Using Sinister. Pride and Prejudice. Not Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice. Spider Man 2. That's it. Time will tell. Time has told. Um, I, I, I just read Elevation by Stephen King, which is the latest one. But he's got a new one on Tuesday, I think. That was really good. Favourite book's probably The Passage by Justin Cronin, or uh, The Last Wolf by Glenn Duncan, or um, uh, I love Stephen King, any Stephen King. Not any Stephen King, most Stephen King. Stephen King. Thank you. Hi. Hi, this message is for Joseph. I wanted to know how you enjoy it. How you enjoy it. Say it again? Animal Kingdom? Oh yeah. How did you like it? Um, I liked it, yeah, because uh, um, it was like a kind of, it, it was really different to anything I've done again, and it was, um, they shoot it more like a movie, so that was kind of fun, sort of like when the band goes off and the, the lead singer just does a little acoustic set, isn't it? <laughs> um, uh, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thank oh no, I feel loved. Don't worry. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <coughs> Do it. Keep going. No, that's it. Go on, next question. Hi, um, first of all, thank you both for the gift of your acting. And my question is, what do you each imagine that Klaus and Elijah are doing in the afterlife? Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Mine's a bit dirty. Tell it. He's with, with Hayley. This is safe. So He's not doing anything dirty with Hayley. He's doing it with, with another girl that he really likes in front of Hayley. I'm joking. That's so okay. with Hayley. She's kind of involved. It's a three. Don't. Um, Klaus is just watching. <laughs> That's sort of from the heights up here. Yeah, but as Haley's having a baby, he's very supportive. Um, here he is again. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hi. Um, this is for Daniel. Who is one? Cole does an impression of you, how do you feel? Can I tell you how I feel when a lovely Arden France is the actor who plays Cole? That, it, it gives me, it gives my, my heart a little smile when you said that. Because that, yeah, that undoes all the silly impressions he does of me. I love you. That's great. Hi, um, for the scenes where you had to like rip people's heart out, how'd you do it? Um, they gave us a fake heart, and then they covered our hands in blood, and we'd hold it against the chest, and then rip it out like that. Um, and then, um, I, 
uh, I don't eat meat, I'm vegan, yeah? So they gave me, thank you, so they gave me, I had to take a bite out of a heart at the beginning of season five, and so they made a vegan heart. And they had to go, okay, let's bring the vegan heart in. Hi. Hi, I love you guys both so much, especially you, Daniel, but I just wanted to say, I just wanted to um, ask, how did your relationship on the show as brothers affect your relationship now? Destroyed it, really. And <laughs> then shreds, so, tatters, we were in ruins. Shreds. Yeah. Called you know the twice last night? <laughs> uh, yeah. Texted him this morning with loads of funny pictures of him. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's yeah. Sort of, a little joshing between friends, no return. If you can no reply, if there was a that they can rent. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if there was a mu musical soundtrack to to our friendship, it would be those guys who are playing the violins as the Titanic's going <laughs> into. <laughs> Whatever they were playing, that's that's where we are. Next question. I loved your sacrifice at the very last season to go with Klaus. Me too. But yeah. my, my it made a lot of sense to me. I loved it. My question is, if you could have done it differently, would you have chosen to stay alive and just let him go by himself? Excuse me? Okay, I missed it again. My question to you is, if you could have stayed alive, would you have chosen that and left it, let him go by himself? It doesn't make any Definitely sense not. for him to stay alive. <laughs> Nothing wrong. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Faith. Um, and I was wondering if you guys had to immerse yourself in a lot of vampire media before you got casted. And if you did, uh, what vampire or could would you play in any franchise? Like Blade? Or well, I think we've established I'm going to be playing the start in okay, the yeah, okay. remake of the vampire. And I'm going to be playing the elderly Brad Pitt, apparently. There's a cross between Tommy Lee Jones and Brad Pitt. Uh, to Tommy Lee Pitt. Actually, Tommy Lee Jones is playing his father, and they got it. It was a nice kind of ashram. Um, I, no, um, the, the, the question was, do we immerse ourselves in any vampire stuff before we did the... Yes, and if you did, did you, could you, or would you pick any... Vampire to be. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I have a favorite vampire movie though, which is, is to me one of the greatest films ever made. But the Lost Boys. The Lost Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 100%, 100 no, right? It's brilliant. Um, I love Let the Right One In. I think it's the best, the best vampire movie I've ever seen. And uh, but I took nothing from that other than that. Oh God, I wish I was in that movie. Or I made it. Uh, so envy. If anything was driving, it was deep, deep envy. Yeah, I, no, I, I was already a massive fan of that genre, so I, I, I didn't need to, uh, you know, discover it because I had already read a lot and, and watched everything I could get my hands on. So, um, yeah, and I'm um, just waiting for the, uh, the stat offer to come in. <laughs> Any minute now. Shouldn't be long. Shouldn't be long. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. Fine. My question for the both of you is, who's the better brother and why? Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm just trying to incite violence. I see who's the better brother and why. Who's the better brother? World War III, so. And why? Oh, he's the better brother. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. It's obviously cold, so. <laughs> well, they're both so inconsistent. Like, not anything they say that would that would violate the, the following episode. I think we both need to acknowledge that they were never consistent with any ideas. So who was a good brother though? And Enrique. Enrique is the best. He's the, yeah, he's the best brother. I think. I think that's all that needs to be said. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my question is, who is your uh, favorite character? Summer for the 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 So is it hope or hope? Wait, well, what was the question? Who's your favorite character in the originals, hope or hope? <laughs> I like hope. Also, I know what you did last summer. Peace out, hope you enjoy your panel now. No, 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 no.
Josh cheering. She had a big head. <laughs> this is actually a double question. Um, Meaning it's two questions? Yes. Um, Daniel Childs, the first one's for you. Um, did you know your vampire bloodline is not actually on the Vampire Diaries or the originals, but it's on Buffy the Vampire Slayer? So I need help. And <laughs> 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 that's a bunch of Finally, others. he's admitting it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you mean my sire line? And then, yes. Oh, okay. So, no, the sire line is in Buffy the Vampire, so... Yeah, okay, so... Uh, um, <laughs> so did you know? Did you know that? Did you know that your bloodline from Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Who's asking? No, I didn't know that. The Strix? And how I, and how I figured that out is you and David Boyer was both guest starred on SEAL Team together and he played Angel, so... It's a funny story there, I'll just there. jump in because it's probably going to make a lot more sense. If I, these, uh, Borianas, what's interesting was that the guy who was um, uh, operating camera on the pilot says uh, he, uh, he, he was lining up a shot with David and I, and he goes, uh, you know, it's so weird, he goes, it's weird to be, uh, to sh be shooting you. It's weird to be shooting you like as a soldier and not a vampire. And David Borianas goes, yeah, man, being there, done that, bought the t-shirt. He goes, oh no, I was talking to Daniel. <laughs> because the guy who was shooting it had filmed David in, uh, in Buffy, and it also filmed me in, uh, in the originals, and I guess I was just more memorable, better. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 a, it's not a competition, but if it was, I won. <laughs> so, there you go. I didn't mean to hijack your sort of questions, but you, you, you've got to ask Joseph. And sure, it'll be lucid. And the second one is for the both of you. How do you both feel about the Ghostbuster movies? <laughs> sort of out of left field. <laughs> not what I was expecting. Um, I like them. And, uh, my favorite female Ghostbuster? Chris Hemsworth in that movie. Yeah, so really Next question. Hi, my question is for Daniel. I was just wondering if you had any more plans to write or direct, and if so, would you be willing to consider hiring Joseph? Actually, I've been thinking about that since I've been on stage, and it's a resounding no. Because of all the shit he's been doing here. I was, I was, no, actually, um, I'd, I'd like, I, I would like to do comedy with Joseph, and there's a, um, uh, I've been talking about it for a while. I'm trying to, um, I'm going to go and try and uh, sell this thing that I've been, um, that I have written, uh, that is a, is, a, is a dark comedy, and I have a role in mind for, for Joseph that isn't too dissimilar from this relationship here, right now. Anyway, so yes, I would love to, I would love to work with Joe, and, but I, I really hope that the next thing we get to do is the thing I've written. And uh, and the so it's comedy. Depending on how my audition goes. That's true. That's true. <laughs> We're auditioning for a guy called Joseph Morgan. <laughs> you're you're in the mix, mate. You're definitely in the mix. I don't know if you're uh, top three. Top three. It's true. You just missed out. Oh, Ryan Felipe got your role. <laughs> and so I think because he looks younger. It's just because he. He's ten years old. Oh, that's not true. He looks younger. He's a bit harder, let's be honest, Ryan Felipe. Dreamboat. Dreamboat. Ryan from Dreamboat. I can't make that work. Hi! Hi. Um, so I actually... Sorry, I'm still thinking about Ryan Felipe being a Dreamboat. Yeah. <laughs> yep, no, it's gone. It's gone I actually have a question for both of you. Um, I will start with you, Daniel. Um, your mannerisms for Elijah were incredible. Was that your creation? Was the handkerchief? It was epic. Was that you who came up with that? Uh, yeah, I like that you think that they're epic. I think they're, they're very silly. Um, I mean, well, Nathaniel Bazalic came up with a, with a lot of those. No, he didn't have a number. Um, no, I, yeah, yeah, thank you. I, I um, yeah, thank you. Um, and for Joseph, um, was there any kind of inspiration for your character? Did you take anything from other films or books or anything like that that made Klaus so very Klaus? 
Yeah, in the beginning from the start in Hannibal Lecter, but then it kind of developed into its own thing after a while, you know. Um, but yeah, that was like a starting point for me. Thank you. Hey again. Uh, I have two questions, one for Joseph and one for Daniel. Uh, Joseph, uh, I have a question. So, my question is, how do you how do you become this powerful character physically, and then all of a sudden you? Why is he a weakling, a weakling in real life? <laughs> yes, that's a good question. I should probably answer. No, I'll let you answer. You're a physical strong character in this TV show, and then you break down at certain times. How do you transition so good like that? Just talent. <laughs> and Daniel, what does it feel like to be the shoulder that everyone leans on for a thousand years? Well, you can't put those two questions back to back. Did you learn, did you learn anything from the other person to have? What's it like to be this groundbreaking actor? Daniel, what's it like to be the shoulder to cry on? You're very strong too, Elijah. Thanks. Burdensome. Burdensome if you ask that question. Unbelievable. Just. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I love you both so much. Uh, so, uh, what was your favorite season to film of the originals? Two. Yes. Um, I mean to film. Actually, that's the one I thought kind of turned out the best overall, because we had a really good villain, like Dahlia, yeah. and we had like, it, it, it seemed like from beginning to end we were sort of moving in the same direction. Like, I liked filming season three, but we introduced this trinity of vampires and they kind of disappeared halfway through the season, yeah. so it felt like it was a bit, um, it, it didn't have as clear a drive all the way through. I loved the summer Fontana of season four, but that was... I didn't love much else about that season. Um, um, so I think probably two because we sort of found our voice um, and, and it was kind of consistent. Me, at least. I can't tell them. It was amazingly detailed. I can't remember what happened. Thank you. Hi. Uh, yeah, hi. 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 woes or whatever to bring them into legacies in the future? Like, if you guys would be willing to do that? No. <laughs> no, the dream is over. They can't afford us, honey. We can't We're afford us. We're a lot of money. Very, very yeah. expensive. Come I love you guys so much. Thank you so I much. Hey, you. you know what? That was the end of their story. And, uh, you know, um, Klaus is in legacies, in the hearts and minds and dialogue of all the characters. <laughs> and there's only so much dessert you can eat. Thank you guys so much, you're both amazing. I, I love, love you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sweetheart. I just want to say how outstanding your performance was, Daniel, when you found out that you <laughs> Sorry, am I? I've got a weird tinnitus. of this. It just, and I'm also standing right in front of the speaker, just, you're going to have to say it again, as loudly as you can. Outstanding your performance was. Oh, oh thank you, sorry. <laughs> when you found out Haley died. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. It was a good time. I, um, I knew that it would be not, uh, but... The fact that, um, oh, it's a can of worms. Well, uh, because you, you're the one who's blamed too, you know, I, I didn't write it. And, um, tr and believe me, it was actually even more incriminating than it was. With a, I didn't go down without a fight with that one. That was, uh, it was just so, um, I don't know, I felt a little thrown under the bus, if I'm honest, with that. That's, that's how I felt, thrown under the bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Phoebe being killed off. Yeah, Phoebe being killed off. Yeah, I hated it. 
I, I didn't really understand like how it was what was happening at the time. But we were kind of in tatters anyway because it was sort of the end and there was a little bit of chaos around the narrative. We didn't really understand how we were sort of closing it out. And I think they wanted to introduce the new show too and that felt sort of like an invasive thing, even though I understand why they had to do it. I totally get it. It just it felt intrusive to the um, to, to, to the process. Um, which I have no emotional attachment to now, I'm just being honest, you know. But I also, I do get where they're coming from, because we were an introduction too, you know, we, we had, they took, they used us for, in the Vampire Diaries, they used an episode for us, and, um, yeah. <laughs> First rule of digging a ditch, stop digging the ditch, right. Hi. So, my question is, who was the last person you texted and what did it say? <laughs> I don't carry my phone on stage because I'm a professional. Yeah. <laughs> no moves to second text. <laughs> also not appropriate. <laughs> Moving on. Next question. I was wondering actually person that was just in front of me kind of said the same thing, but I know how loyal you were to everybody in the show, and I kind of felt like when you went through the show... How loyal was to everyone in the show? Loyal. Loyal. Oh. Right. Loyal. Yeah. And I felt like when you were going to go through the red door, there was going to be more of an extreme breakdown with you over Haley, and I was wondering if you felt like you gave it your all during that shoot. Um, oh my god. Or if you felt like you should have put more into it. Oh my god. 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 Oh Oh, I did three. That was the earlier stuff. Yeah. Charles did the one where Haley died. It was amazing! Thank you. Thank you. Wait, my, oh, my, break, my breakdown after she, she died? You mean it didn't look... No, I think you are amazing, but I just, I thought that there was going to be so much more emotion because I felt like your love story with Haley was amazing. <laughs> What are you doing tonight? Driving back to Connecticut. What's that? Driving back to Connecticut. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to have another passenger. Right. <laughs> it's going to be a corpse. <laughs> or uh, the head of a horse. <laughs> I'm not I, I love you so hard. I don't, I don't mean it as an insult at all. No. no. <laughs> Your life story. Like any you. question. It doesn't need to be in just anything like this one. <laughs> Hi, my question is for Daniel. Do you feel like Haley and Elijah should have gotten their last dance? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Sort of like a Pulp fish, Fiction esque scene. <laughs> yeah, I see it, man. <laughs> yeah, how does Elijah's in his socks? <laughs> 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 Now, how does Elijah dance? Like a da yeah, it'd be funny. Well, he's doing that other thing in heaven with him watching in there. That's kind of last dance for the forever dance. Wait, am I hearing that peculiar laugh again? <laughs> Jesus. Dishes. Oh. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. So, just a comment and a question for Daniel. So this is coming from a guy who's had multiple heart attacks over the course of the past couple of years, and trying to figure out life. And I thank my daughter for hooking me up and immersing me in your series, which has been a terrific drive in the country. But Daniel, I understand there's an opening for 007, and the opportunity. We had a running joke on the show um, where 
I just thought it would be funny to parody a guy who's kind of just a lesser but much crappier agent than James Bond in 009. And his name is Bond, Dave, Dave Bond. His name's Dave Bond. And I just thought it would be really funny to play a, a really shitty MI5 guy who's sort of like a, like a second cousin or something of James Bond. I'd love to do a parody there. Uh, yeah, it would be, that, that would be magnificent to play James Bond. They're not beating down my door, I'll be honest with that. I'm probably too old to play now, I well, I'm, I've got, I'm five years older than, what's his name? What's his name, the one playing it now? Daniel Craig, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. You all went with that, you were all supposed to go, no, you're definitely not. <laughs> um, hey, uh, I'd love to play that role. And um, thank you so much for, uh, for your immersion in our show. That's incredibly touching and... Uh, and I hope we entertained you and, and didn't, uh, didn't bring you further misery. Uh, guys, you're up for Dave.